Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a haul for you guys. I have a lot of stuff I've accumulated. Believe it or not, it's not all makeup and beauty. I got a cat! He's defective though, he has diabetes. I've been doing some clothes shopping, I've been doing some accessory shopping, I've been doing some homeware shopping, okay? And I also have some books, so I thought I would just do like a little bit of a collective haul, show you guys what I've been buying lately. I'm gonna... What? First thing I'm gonna show you is all of the glasses I got from glassesusa.com. Who is sponsoring this video, by the way? If you guys are not new to my channel, you know I've worked with them a bunch of different times. I love them, they're, that's where I get all of my glasses, pretty much. They're really great because they're online. You can do everything online so you don't have to leave your house. And by cutting out the middleman, everything's really affordable, up to like 70% off retail prices. They have like 4,000 different frames, whether it's regular glasses or sunglasses. Some of them are, they're in-house, brands some of them are designer like Ray-Ban like Vogue Celine Tom Ford I have a really cute pair of Celine's right here that I'm gonna show you in just a second and if you're thinking like how am I gonna buy glasses online I can't try them on they do have a virtual try on tool so you can upload a photo and see what the different frames look like on your face and you can get prescription lenses in any of their glasses, including sunglasses. It's a really good deal. It's a really amazing website. Highly recommend. And I'm going to show you the ones that I got. So I got one pair of sunglasses. You're going to see the ring light in these. So ignore that. Um, it's getting dark over here. So I needed the, the ring light. These are kind of cool. These are very 90s to me. These are like, I swear my mom had these growing up. And... They were cool, and I think they still are. I got these cat eye glasses. I think a cat eye looks very sensual, sexual, um, irresistible. <laughs> you don't deny it. Got some more cat eye action going on. I'm really trying to rotate my head in a way that you can't see the ring light. I think these are my favorite that I've gotten. Yes. I got some clear framers. By the way, I don't have a prescription, so you don't have to have a prescription to get these glasses. You can select no prescription and they come just like this. So they're just cute little accessory. And last but not least, I got some Celine designer glasses. These are legit. Look at this. You mean business when you walk up into the club with these. I don't go to a club. Do people wear glasses there? So after this video, check them out in the description. All my glasses that I tried on are gonna be listed down there as well. Okay, next I'm gonna go through some of the beauty products I did get. The only makeup product I got recently is this Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. This is the Moon Dust palette. It comes with eight different glitter eyeshadows. I've used it once. I'll probably use it another time in my life. It's one of those impulse purchases where it's just so pretty, you're probably not gonna wear it that much, but you can't live in a world where you don't own it. I got this Briogeo Rosarco Milk. It's a leave-in conditioning spray. I got this because I was obsessed with my Davines Oi Milk, but it's like $40. I didn't even realize how expensive it was when I bought it because I was my hair was so dry and I was in desperate need of a leave-in conditioner. I went through it in like two weeks. And so when I went to repurchase it, I was like, yikes, that's a lot of money um, to be spending every two weeks. So honestly, I don't remember how much this was. I think it was like marginally cheaper. I don't know. Maybe it was like 20 something dollar, $28, which is still pretty expensive, but I'm not going through it as fast because it's a little bit more liquidy, whereas the other one was more like milky. It's been good, but honestly, I think I'm going to go back to the Davines because it was just so really good. I got this lip mask by Kaplan MD. It's the perfect pout lip mask. I've used this a few times. I read about it on birdie.com. Two different people talked about it and were like, this replaced my lip injections. And so naturally I was like, add to cart immediately. I just really haven't been noticing a difference. Like I guess I wake up and my lips are hydrated, but I don't really notice that they're like super plumped up. Maybe if your lips were like really dehydrated, it would plump them up, or if you had like fine lines around your mouth. Um, but other than that, I really didn't notice a difference. So I don't really know what those girls are talking about. <laughs> okay, I have a candle here. This is a repurchase. I purchased this last year. This is the Diptyque Amber Candle. I am like such a slut for luxury candles. You have no idea. Ugh. 
they make me happy I like them I smell them I feel like I have a purpose this smells so good if you like like dark warm sexy scents you'll love this go in a store that has, has diptyque smell this amber candle it smells so freaking good I had it last year I burned it almost to the end and then I accidentally knocked it on the floor and it shattered so I had to throw it out but then by then it was like the weather was getting warmer and this is more of like a wintry scent so you know winter time rolled around I was walking past Tiptique and I was like hey girl you're coming home with me okay I got some books here um, I just have three books that I've picked up recently on Amazon um, I got Two Joan Didions. I got the White Album classic. This was in my brother's um, movie, Ingrid Goes West, and it was like a very like tongue in cheek, like, oh my god, everyone knows Joan Didion. And you know, I like laughed along with it, but also like I've never read this and I have no clue what the references were. So I'm finally catching up so that I can watch his movie and like know what's going on. I also got this Joan Didion book, which is what I'm currently reading. This is The Year of Magical Thinking. Um, this is about grief and loss. And yes, it's very depressing. Actually, my therapist has instructed me to stop reading this right now. And she's like, girl, you don't, that's the last thing you need. <laughs> so she didn't say it like that, but she was like, um, don't read this. You know, when you're like sad and you like put more sad music on, cause you're like, I want to like really lean into this. That's kind of how this is, but also it's like making me really paranoid. Hence why she told me to stop reading it. It's about death and loss and like how life comes at you fast. And one moment you're sitting down for dinner and the next you're dead on the floor. Um, the next book I got is Black Swans. Um, there's stories by Eve Babbitts. She is like an LA, by coastal author like la to new york she's apparently a voice of a generation i've never read any of her things but i always see her books in the bookstores and i always gravitate towards them because i just love the color i love the simplicity i love the font i love the color schemes um this one came recommended somewhere i can't even remember yeah so i bought it i haven't read it so um if you guys have read any of these books let me know in the comments also if you just would rather me read them and then tell you, I will surely do that once I get through them in a year because I am on my phone too much. Okay, moving on to some clothes, but not just any clothes. I got like workout clothes. I'm trying to be healthy. Um, I went to Outdoor Voices. If you don't follow them on Instagram, follow them. They have like really cool workout clothes. It's like basically the glossier of workout clothes. It's like you want to be those girls. You never will be. Um, so don't even try. But um, but I am anyway. So I got some leggings. They're also like very expensive. This is my reasoning behind it was like if I look good, I will work out. Um, hasn't worked yet, but we're still hopeful. I got these leggings. Really, really cute. I got, I basically got three of the same leggings, but just in different colors. Cute, green, pink. I also got the gray. Really cute. Um, and I also got like a little periwinkle t-shirt to go with. Um, I normally, like, all the times I would work out, it was like an old, like, ratty clothes that just like didn't make you feel attractive or good. And it just like didn't excite me to work out. So my reasoning was like, if I feel cute, I'm gonna like want to put these clothes on and I'm gonna want to work out and I'm gonna feel good about myself. And I think that's gonna work uh, one of these days. Another thing from Outdoor Voices that I didn't need that I have been using a lot of, um, I got this fleece. I've been like kind of eyeing up these like vintage pa Patagonia fleeces. Um, and then I saw this and I thought, you know, screw them. I'm getting this one. I love the color. It's like really cute, soft, like terry cloth material. These blue buttons are really cute. It has a hood and the hood is lined. This came in handy big time when like a week ago it was like a torrential downpour in LA and I didn't have anything with a hood I don't have an umbrella so this really came in handy I wore this everywhere it has a pocket in here um, it's really cute and I'm just picturing myself in these leggings in that fleece hiking up a mountain and like I'm loving that for me speaking of hiking up a mountain I just got some hiking boots too I got these off Amazon these are by Columbia um, they're waterproof 
they're weatherproof. They're definitely for like scaling large mountains and not for like hiking up Griffith. Um, but they look really cute and screw you. <laughs> Picture these with my Outdoor Voices outfits just hiking up Runyon Canyon. Can you believe? Okay, so these next things I'm going to show you are kind of weird. I got these off Etsy. They are for the home. Um, I got these. Um, so these are like dried wheat. My plan for these is to make some cool vases in pottery and display this beautiful dried wheat in them. Also, these billy balls. These are so cute. I'm gonna insert some uh, footage of what these ba babies look in action so you get a little bit of an idea of the kind of vibe I'm going for. I was buying myself fresh flowers like pretty much every week because I just love the way they look displayed like in a vase. But you know that like isn't a really expensive luxury. So I decided to get some like dried stuff off Etsy and then I can have that look of like displaying pretty things in vases but I don't have to like keep buying myself flowers. Um, I just got these. These are called pompas. I don't really know what these are called. Um, they're a little like crushed but again my theory is I'm gonna have them um, you know these really like open up and become like fluffy but they've been crammed into a box. I'm gonna make a pretty vase, display them. I also got some dried eucalyptus which I always have this in my shower, you guys know. Um, but right now I have it like displayed in a vase in my other room, in my living room. So those are kind of like some funky things I've gotten. Okay, that's my whole haul. What do you guys think? It's kind of been a mixed bag, but everything's like really fun and exciting. And I'm actually really proud that I haven't spent all of my money on beauty products because that's usually what I buy. Check out glassesusa.com in the comment, or not in the comments. <laughs> In the description and um, get yourself a nice pair of glasses try them on have some fun go nuts and um, leave me a comment subscribe like all of that and I'll see you in my next video